Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, depression, addiction. 200 million Europeans suffer from neurological conditions. Through our loved ones, our families, our partners, our parents, and our children, that means all of us would be affected. If you think about that, there's a third of us in this room will have a neurological condition in our lifetimes. Besides the significant human cost, the annual economic burden to Europe of neurological disorders is 800 billion euros. If we just look at, say, epilepsy, for a third of, there's six million people in Europe who suffer from epilepsy. For a third of them, the drugs don't work. Taking a pill is not the answer. Brain surgery. Brain surgery is the medically proven best option for them. This is where your brain is cut open. It's not a pleasant process. When you go for brain surgery, as Aidan did here, it's transformational. He is now, he's now 12, and he's living a full and active life. But there are only 5,000 epileptic surgeries in Europe every year. Why is that number so low? Well, when you have brain surgery, literally your brain is cut open, electrodes are put in your head. You are connected to a 30-foot cable, and you are stuck in a hospital room for two to six weeks. It's an awful procedure. It's awful for you, it's awful for your family. But it's the only way the doctors can get the data that they need. But the data is noisy. So the doctors find it challenging to determine exactly which part of the brain to cut out. That's why they call it part art and part science. And the reason is the legacy 20-plus-year-old sensors are big and inefficient. At Neurora, we've combined a decade of fundamental brain research with fabrication technologies from the semiconductor industry to make miniaturized brain sensors. Our sensors go through small holes. They are about, they're smaller than the size of a human hair. They are 20 times better than the legacy electrodes in terms of, sorry, they are 20 times better in terms of their um, spatial resolution and three times better with their signal quality. What that means is the doctors get better more precise data and cut out less of your brain, which is always a good thing. But our solution doesn't stop there. We transmit the data wirelessly. We get rid of the cable. The patient is mobile, quality of life is much better. They can even go home. This reduces costs at the hospitals. It also reduces the potential risks of infection. But we take the information that we get wirelessly, and we combine that with MRI data. And you can basically look into the brain and see the various regions. This then makes it faster for the doctors to make a diagnosis. Ultimately, though, with our brain technology platform, we don't just take information from the brain. We can also put electrical <coughs> signals in and stimulate the brain. Neuromodulation. Just like a heart pacemaker, but for your brain. This moves us, as I said, into the neuromodulation field, where we can treat many more diseases. Ultimately, we are going to break down the walls of the brain. Thank you.